Small SUV struggle in new side tests. Only one out of 20 small SUV earns a good rating in a new, more stringent side impact test designed to further reduce crash fatalities. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is introducing a new tougher side crash test to address higher speed crashes that continue to cause fatalities. Today, the Institute is releasing results for 20 small SUVs. These results are from our new tougher side crash test. Of the 20 vehicles we tested, only one received a good rating. Nine received an acceptable rating, eight received a marginal rating, and two received a poor rating. Our new side impact test generates about 80% more energy than our original test. This is the result of using a heavier barrier and also running the test at a higher speed. The other change that we made was to the face of the barrier. It has now been redesigned to reflect the crash profile that occurs when a modern day SUV or pickup truck strikes another vehicle. When we develop a new test program, we begin by looking at real world crashes and trying to understand the characteristics of those collisions, including speed and types of vehicles involved. We then look at our test to determine if we are simulating what is happening in the real world when it comes to how the vehicle responds and how likely it is that occupants will be injured. The Mazda CX-5 was our top performer in this inaugural round of newer, tougher side impact testing. The vehicle structure held up extremely well during the test. The airbags did a really good job of protecting the heads of the crash test dummies, and there was very little intrusion into the occupant compartment, meaning less likelihood of injury. This is how we would like to see all vehicles perform in the future. The Honda HRV was one of two poor performing vehicles in this round of test. Structurally, it was the worst performer. As you can see here, the B-pillar actually tore away from the structure of the vehicle. The result was our barrier intruding almost halfway into the driver's seat. In the past two decades, we've made tremendous strides in protecting occupants in side impact crashes. As we move forward with our new tougher tests, we expect more improvements and for vehicles to become even safer for consumers. In the first tests of 2020 and 2021 model year vehicles, only one out of 20 small SUV, the 2021 Mazda CX-5, earns a good rating. Nine vehicles earn acceptable ratings. The Audi Q3, Buick Encore, Chevrolet Trax, Honda CR-V, Nissan Rogue, Subaru Forester, Toyota RAV4, Toyota Venza, and Volvo XC40. Eight others, the Chevrolet Equinox, Ford Escape, GMC Terrain, Hyundai Tucson, Jeep Compass, Jeep Renegade, Kia Sportage, and Lincoln Corsair earn marginal ratings. Two more, the Honda HRV and Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, receive poor ratings. All but one of the tested vehicles was a 2021 model. Mitsubishi skipped the 2021 model year for the Eclipse Cross, so the 2020 model was tested. With the exception of the Compass and the Tucson, the ratings carry over to 2022 models. The ratings highlight a wide range of performance among vehicles built to excel in an earlier version of the side test. All 20 small SUV earn good ratings in the first generation side test. That's true for almost all current vehicles, but it hasn't always been the case. When the original side test was introduced in 2003, only about one in five models earned a good rating. That progress has saved lives. A 2011 study of 10 years' worth of crash data found that a driver of a vehicle with a good side rating is 70% less likely to die in a left side crash than a driver of a vehicle with a poor rating. However, side impacts still accounted for 23% of passenger vehicle occupant deaths in 2019. To address those crashes, the updated side test uses a heavier barrier traveling at a higher speed to simulate the striking vehicle. The new barrier weighs 4,180 pounds close to the weight of today's mid-size sport utility vehicles and strikes the test vehicle at 37 mile per hour, compared with a 3,300 pound barrier traveling at 31 mile per hour in the original evaluation. Together, those two changes mean it involves 82% more energy. 
The new test reveals wide discrepancies in the degree of protection these small SUV provide for the pelvis and the chest. Only five vehicles earn good or acceptable scores across the board for these injury measures. A likely explanation is that the new striking barrier bends around the B pillar between the driver and rear passenger doors. Mueller observed the same tendency by the fronts of SUV and pickups during vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle research tests. As a result of this behavior, depressions are formed in the front and rear doors of the struck vehicle and the occupant space can be compromised even if the B pillar can withstand the higher speed impact. To adapt, manufacturers will probably need to strengthen the horizontal door beams to reduce that intrusion and adjust their torso and pelvis protecting airbags to provide more coverage and cushioning. A likely explanation is that the new striking barrier bends around the B pillar between the driver and rear passenger doors. Mueller observed the same in real-world side crashes, stronger structures are linked to higher survival rates. While all 20 small SUV received good scores for their structures in the original test, only 8 earned good ratings for structural integrity in the new, higher energy evaluation. The B pillar of the worst performer by this metric, the HRV, began to tear away from the frame, allowing the side of the vehicle to crush inward almost to the center of the driver's seat. The vehicles that earned marginal or poor overall ratings in the new test generally struggled with both structural issues and high chest and pelvis injury measurements from both dummies. The HRV's weak B pillar contributed to elevated dummy injury measures, for example. Similarly, a combination of structural weakness and inadequate seat-mounted torso-protecting airbags made the Eclipse cross the only vehicle to earn a poor rating for driver chest protection. The Equinox and its twin, the Terrain, were exceptions among the poor and marginal performers. The tested vehicle, an Equinox, demonstrated a strong structure, but only managed a marginal rating overall due to inadequate head protection and elevated head injury risk for the rear passenger and elevated chest injury measures for the driver. Rather than similar flaws, there were many different reasons why the nine acceptable rated vehicles fell short of a good rating. A marginal driver chest injury for the Encore, inadequate head protecting airbags for the Rogue, heightened injury measures for the driver's pelvis for the RAV4, and so forth. The faster manufacturers can make such improvements the better. However, for now the ratings for the original and updated tests will be published together for all evaluated vehicles and a good rating in the original side test will remain the requirement for Top Safety Pick and Top Safety Pick Plus until the award criteria are updated in 2023. At that point, the new, more stringent side test will replace the original one.